to episode 5, Dredges and Lift Nets. A dredge is like a cage-like structure often equipped with a scraper blade or teeth on its lower part, either pulled or towed to dig animals out of substrate and lift them into the cage or bag. As dredges are in heavy contact with the substrate, the bottom part of the dredge, sometimes the entire cage, is made of metal rods or chain mesh to withstand chaffing with the seabed. However, mesh bags made of synthetic materials are also used. Dredges may be operated either by hand, wading in the water, or from a small boat in shallow waters, or towed behind a boat in deeper waters. Complex mechanized system using hydraulic equipment or water jets to dislodge the target species from the seabed may also be employed in dredges. Common target species include mollusks, such as mussels, oysters, scallops, and clams. Two types of dredges may be operated from a large boat. Towed dredges are mechanized hydraulic dredges. Towed dredges are towed steadily across the seabed and may include a series of small dredges attached to a single towing bar at the end of a towing wire. Hydraulic dredges use extensive accessory gear such as hoses and pumps and are either towed across the seabed slowly by boat or by winching a warp attached to an anchor. Dredges penetrate and alter physical characteristics of the seabed and may impact benthic fauna. The extent of damage may depend on the type of gear and the environmental and physical conditions of the area. Four point one, towed dredges. A towed dredge is a cage-like structure made of a robust metal frame that is towed behind a boat. The towed dredge may or may not have teeth along the lower edge of the frame, which are usually referred to as the cutting bar or tooth bar. The basket-like bag is usually made of interlocking metal rings, chains, nets, or synthetic netting attached to the frame. Common targets are clams, oysters, and scallops. Towed dredges may have wheels on the side of the frame to help move the dredge along the seabed. Depending on the power and size of the boat and the depth fished, the number of dredges may vary from a single dredge towed behind the boat to four dredges towed from each side of the stern, or as many as 18 dredges towed from the outriggers on each side. In the latter case, the individual small dredges are connected to a towing bar which is attached by bridles to a single towing warp. The number of dredges or the size of dredge are often limited by legislative restrictions. Some large dredge fisheries include the Japanese scallop fishery primarily from Hokkaido, Japan, which produced about 300,000 tons annually in the first decade of this century, and the Atlantic Sea scallop fisheries in the New England and Mid-Atlantic regions of the United States of America which landed about 280,000 tons of scallops annually between 2002 and 2011. See figure 23, eight dredges on two beams towed behind a boat, an enlargement with annotations of a typical towed dredge with teeth, club stick, bag or steel rings, Twine top, teeth, bale, towing point. 4.2. Hand dredges. A hand dredge is a small and light hand-operated dredge with a handle and a metal frame which may have teeth on its lower edge. A hand dredge usually has a frame attached with a bag which is either made of synthetic netting or wire mesh. The hand dredge may be pulled manually by wading or from a small boat in shallow waters. Typical target species are clams, oysters, and mussels. The hand dredge can sometimes be confused with the rake-in-the-hand implement subclass in the miscellaneous gear category. 
The main difference between the hand dredge and the rake may be the steadier motion of dredging and the bag attached to the frame of the hand dredge. See figure 24, a hand dredge operated by a fisher from a small boat in shallow water. Four point three mechanized dredges. A mechanized dredge is a large metal cage equipped with a cutting blade, which uses high pressure hydraulic jet pumps to fluidize the substrate and wash out animals from the sediment and into the cage. The mechanized dredge is therefore also called a hydraulic dredge. Mollusks such as mussels and clams are scooped up by the dredge located behind the water jets and may be delivered to the boat via a conveyor belt by using a suction pump or by bringing the cage-like dredge to the surface. The dredge may also be towed slowly during fishing, especially on large, powerful vessels. In some operations, the boat may set a large anchor so that the boat can maneuver several sectors around the anchoring position. Some important mechanized dredge fisheries include the Canadian East Coast Surf Clam Fishery and the Irish Razor Clam Dredge Fishery. See figure 25, a mechanized hydraulic dredge, a compressor on board, the vessel pushes high pressure water jet through a hose to fluidize the substrate and wash out bivalves in the sediment, allowing the cage-like dredge to collect the animals. Leaf nets. A lift net is a piece of netting mounted onto a frame that is lowered into the water to allow fish to enter the area above the net and is then lifted or hauled upward to collect the fish accumulated there. The net is either a series of simple horizontal sheets or a bag-shaped netting panel like a funnel or cone with the opening facing upwards. The netting is often stretched over a frame of rods made of bamboo, wood, plastic, or metal. The fish are often attracted over the net by lights or bait, or drift over the net with a current. These gears may either small and portable and operated by hand or large in size and assisted by a winch or other mechanical device. They can be operated from shore, from a structure extended from the shore, or from a boat. 5.1 Portable Lift Nets A portable lift net is a small rectangular shaped net stretched on a frame and not fixed to a structure. A portable lift net is usually supported by a rod and fished from a rock, shore, river bank, or pier. The gear is small, portable intended, and not fixed to the shore or the structure so that it can be carried to different fishing spots. This gear is often used in recreational, artisanal, and subsistence fisheries. See figure 26, a portable lift net operated by a fisher from the shore. 5.2. Boat-Operated Lift Nets A boat-operated lift net is a rectangular net deployed from one or more boats at some depth to catch fish above by lifting the net. A boat-operated lift net is usually large in size using beams extended from the boat. Lights are often used to attract and concentrate the fish at night. These gears include bag nets, or basni, blanket nets, and Japanese stick-held lift nets, buki ami. In addition to catching fish for human consumption, such as Pacific sari, Boat-operated lift nets are primary fishing gears supplying live bait fish, mostly small clupid and engrolid species, for tropical tuna pole and line fisheries. The success of these fisheries is often dependent on the net on nets to capture live bait fish in coastal waters the night before. See figure 27, a boat-operated lift net with light attraction. Five point three shore operated stationary lift nets. 
A shore-operated stationary liftnet is a liftnet operated from a stationary platform situated in coastal waters along the shore. This type of liftnet is often permanently or semi-permanently stationed on a riverbank over a cliff or on a structure such as a spear, tower, or platform. The lifting system can be operated manually or mechanized using a hand-operated or powered winch depending on the size of the net. Artificial lights are often used to attract target species. Figure 28 illustrates a shore-based lift net for catching cuttlefish over cliffs in Zhujiang, China. Shore-operated lift nets are widely used in many Asian countries such as China, India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Thailand, and Vietnam. The lift net is stationed some distance from the shore and operated by one fisher stationed in a wooden tower which is also partially submerged at high tides. The fisher mechanically lifts the net and uses a small boat to get the catch from the net. See figure 28, a shore operated stationary lift net for catching cuttlefish operated on a platform extended from a cliff. The operation is often carried out at night with the use of light.